North Korean defectors are flooding their homeland with banned movies like Titanic and pop songs in a bid to bring Kim Jong-un's ruthless regime to its knees. They are ramping up a campaign to sneak flash drives and balloons full of news bulletins, movies and documentaries over the border to counter state propaganda. North Korean defectors release huge balloons carrying anti-North Korea leaflets in Paju. The campaigners hope to bring down the North Korean regime. Hollywood movies like Titanic have proven very popular in the rogue state. The Flash Drives for Freedom campaign aims to show those living in the rogue state that life really is a lot, lot better on the outside. Backed by the U.S.-based human right foundation HSF, the ultimate aim is to bring down the pariah regime from within. In the South Korean city of Paju, thousands of balloons have been silently floated into the skies to catch the winds and blow over the border. Up to 10,000 flash drives have been successfully smuggled into North Korea, revealed Alex Gladstein, the HSF's chief strategy officer. Up to 10,000 flash drives have been successfully smuggled into North Korea. The balloons also carry leaflets which poke for at the Kim Jong Nam style star. Sai has legions of fans over the border from his homeland. However, the organization aims to send in 10 times that amount in 2018, saying it is on the the only way to inspire change. Kim's state media has called those behind the scheme scum and enemy zero. However, Mr. Gladstein insisted, we're creating little windows to the outside world so that the North Korean people can make decisions for themselves about what they want to do with their s. He revealed the appetite for entertainment within the Hermit Kingdom ranges from popular films such as Titanic and music from Gangnam Style megastar side news and documentaries. The content is chosen by those lucky enough to have already escaped the dictatorship. The USB sticks are smuggled at great risk via towns on China's border with North Korea, where the black market for goods and information is flourishing. North Korea marks the sixth anniversary of ex-leader Kim Jong-il's death. The project has already smuggled in 2 million hours worth of footage, and 48 million hours of reading material to estimated and estimated 1.1 million North Koreans. Balloon projects are ongoing during seasons with favorable winds but the group's focus has shifted mainly to flash drives, which have dramatically increased the amount of content that can be sent in. Evidence of the increasing foreign influence on the secretive regime was borne out in the recent daring defection of a young soldier. He awoke from life-saving surgery to bullet wounds to reveal his passion for South Korean girl bands.